Okay, number two says you've got a 0.25 kilogram ball. And it's on a 0 0.50 millimeter or meter string. And it's swinging horizontally. Uh, how many RPMs? Basically, what speed do you have to swing it with um, to have a centripetal force of 100 newtons? So uh, the centripetal force is the mass times the velocity squared over the radius. So um, wh what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the velocity first, and then I'll change that into rotations per minute after I find the velocity. So I know that the centripetal force is supposed to be 100. The mass is 0.25, and the radius is 0.5. So my velocity is going to be... Um, Let's see. 14.1. So this thing's cruising around here at 14.1 meters per second. So I, I, I think though, I mean, there's a couple. Again, there's a couple. There's going to be a couple ways to do changing this velocity into rotation RPM. Just like I did in the last problem, there I could do it through dimensional analysis or velocity is equal to distance over time. Um, I, you could do it either way. I, again, I think the easiest way to do it is dimensional analysis, but that's because I'm comfortable with dimensional analysis. So if I go 14.1 uh, meters per second, and I'm going to change, first of all, change seconds into minutes, because I want to have it in ultimately rotations per minute. So there's 60 seconds in one minute. So this cancels that. And then I'll change uh, I'll change meters into rotations. Kind of I, I doing the exact backwards. So let's see here. One rotation is 2 pi r. 2 pi r, which is 0 0.5 meters. So this times this times this, divided by that, divided by that, divided by that. You end up with, uh, so 14.1 times 60 divided by, make sure you put, if you're going to divide by all at once, make sure you put it in parentheses. So like I'm doing like this one divided by um, parentheses, 2 pi times 0.5. Make sure you put, that. that's a, so 270 is my rotations per minute. using the dimensional analysis. The other way you could do it is you could say um, you could go the other way velocity equals distance over time. So I want the time to be 60 seconds and then what dis and then what's the distance when I know the velocity here is 14.1 and um, and the, the distance is well how many? How many circumferences is that? So that's meters per second. So if I multiply this here, it's uh, so how many circumferences? So x circumferences, and a circumference is 2 pi 0.5. So if I multiply this times this, so 14.1 times 60. I get 846x circumferences. So then I divide it by 2 pi times 0 0.5, or pi basically, I get 270 RPM. So a couple of different ways to do it.